Hey, how you doing? What you up to? Sit down right here. Okay. okay. When I finish, I come with oh, you. Thank you. Okay, you want to take a seat? Now you get up there, I'll take one. Very nice. Okay, right there. Okay, you don't want to sit? Okay, let's go back. You don't want to sit? Stand, okay. You can sit here Hey, hey, how you doing? Big Joe. Hey, what's up, Big Mo? What's up, player? Oh, up? not a whole lot. Taking one step at a time. Yep. You got a front row seat. Did you get your name for it? Huh? You got a front row seat. Oh. A what? A front row seat. Yeah. Do you want to see it? Hey, how are you doing? All right, how are you doing? Hey, good. Good, okay? yeah. good to see uh, everybody. It's a big day. Yeah. <laughs> how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. How about yourself? Yeah, good. Yeah. Turned out really nice. I've never seen this many people on the I patio. Know, this is cool to see this many people on the patio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen this many at one time out here. I haven't seen this many at one time. Oh, yeah, I know. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, you have. I didn't know it could fit this many people. Yeah, y'all did. What was you doing out here? There's more room down this way if y'all want to move down this way. Can everybody hear me? Raise your hand if you can't hear me. If you cannot hear me, raise your hand. Are you sitting? Are you sitting? Okay, go ahead and sit right here. Uh-huh. Okay, here. I don't know. Are you good? Hey. I don't know why you have a name tag. Hey, what's up? What's up? You enjoy what's your up? name tag. Yeah, who that? Alfred? Hey, Joey. I don't know why you have a name tag, but here, here's your name tag. Thank you. Name You're welcome. Tag. Yeah, you and Marlon. <laughs> Y'all must be special. Ah. Uh, because I was... Probably because I was quoted in the article. All right, Faye, you doing all right? I am. Yeah. That's good. <coughs> It's kind of crowded, 
but there's some seats over here. Wait, scoot through this way. There you go. I actually, thought I was gonna catch up with you. I, I caught a ride with somebody. <laughs> I did too. Right Hey, what's up? Hey, Joey. Hey. Hey, Robin. Hey. 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 The other way. The other way. Charlie, Charlie, you stop with Jesus. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You are left, you're right. Yeah. Well, you got to come around, my No. And it's kind of straight ahead. That's right. No, it's the left. I thought it was to my right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You got to your right. Oh, to the left. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they do. That's to my right because I got my back to the table. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sitting. I'm, I'm sitting in face of the You. Is that to your left or right? What's going on, man? Mr. Robert. All right, Mark. Rob. Oh, it's all right. Hey, Rob. It's a bad name right there. He's a parking lot. He's a head. I'm in both anyway. And that's Robert Hall. No, it's Robert. You got to go. Oh, I'm a big guy. Yeah, yeah. Tell when you hear Mayfield talking about that. Mayfield over here talking. That's what you're looking at. I like my front row seat. Yeah. Huh? Oh, uh, what about us? I know. Hey, that radio announcer said they 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 expecting a win. Oh really? I wouldn't expect nothing. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a, hey, I'm waiting for the you know, I'm a best man. Hey, I know, but you see, here's the thing. I ain't gonna ain't nothing. It's just gonna be they rebuilding. They, they are rebuilding. Yeah. You try you sound like you ain't trying to get your hopes up. I ain't, I ain't trying up. to get my hopes up too high because every time you get your hopes up for the Carolina yeah. Panthers, you, <laughs> you don't get your hopes. Hey, we rebuilding. There's no we rebuilding. Right? Everybody knew. Not everybody, but the whole squad, coaching squad is new. Yeah. Hey, we got a, and we got a new play caller. I do have hope for Thomas Brown calling plays. But I'm just waiting. So I guess 
I ain't gonna get excited. I ain't gonna get my hopes up. Ah. Uh -huh. If we win, that's gonna that'd be great. We go back to work. But if we don't, well, another week. <laughs> that's yep. what I like to say. Because it's just like any other NFL team, they like the Detroit. They were terrible. Now they're looking good. Yep. So now we are trying to rebuild like we were. Yep. We rebuild. We got a new quarterback. We got new coaches. We got everything. They got it all gelled together. Yep. They look good. I'm going to tell you no lie. They did look good playing Miami. Uh, they, they did look well, good playing Miami. Yeah, didn't in the win. first two, in the first two, in the yeah, first they didn't two. They win, but they look better than they was when they first started. Uh -huh. They didn't do it. no no mistakes. They did no turnover. They were good. And they kept running up the middle. Yeah. So they look better. Yeah. They getting, they getting there. Yeah. That's my faith. They getting there. Uh huh. Carolina. You try y'all talking about the Panthers? Yeah. yeah. They, they, they look good playing against Miami. They didn't. They didn't win, but they yeah. look better. They was. Yeah. They, they did real good. They looked all right against Detroit to me. Yeah. yeah. In the Detroit game. So they're getting it. They offense. Got, the offense coming around a little bit. Yeah, they getting it. They Our the, uh, defense is so banged up though. Yeah. Like Just we have a public announcement. I like for everybody to take pictures as much as possible. So if you can take as many pictures as you can, that'd be great. Who see you take no pictures? I can't see nobody take no pictures. I didn't bring my phone. Hey, this that front row seat. Who? You. Oh, that's what I'm at? Front row. I mean, you're hey, I'm a star. You are a star. <laughs> yep. Front. Superstar at that. Front row guy. Front row seat. I love Phil about that. I'm a star at that. I'm in the front row. Why would Philip say something that sound like he's coming from over this way? Right I am. He's right here. So I know it, but he sounds like my speaker's cut up down there. Yeah. 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 I keep looking over there. Everybody. That's okay. I'm going to stand right here and talk to you. How about that? Hey, that'll uh, work. I'm, I'm going to be standing up behind you on the rim back here. We all came uh, down. Uh, that'll work. Maybe I need to turn around. Hey, 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 hey Philip. Yes. Are we on TV? Uh, Queen City News is here. Yeah, they're here. All right. Uh -huh. Channel 46. Yeah, I watch it. Oh, I watch it. They got a good newscast, though. Yeah, I watch it because the Carolina Panthers. I watch the Panthers thing. You like yeah. Nick Carboni. One yeah. more public announcement. Can you sit, silence your cell phones and radios for the staff? So just silence your radios and cell phones for a few minutes. Okay. We're waiting for just a few more people. Let me cut mine off. 10.02 a.m. One notification. Double tap to power off. One notification. Double tap to power off. Okay, it's up. As soon as Vivian gets back, we'll start. <laughs> Everybody. Hi, Sam. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm right here, Joey. I'm sorry, I'm a little further back from you. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry. Uh, hey, it's not raining, it's nice and cool out. Yeah. yeah. Nice and cool. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Yes, yeah, I love it. Now, we just stay like this for the next few months. Yeah. Um, just cool, not hot, just cool. Yeah. Yeah. cool. I told Philip to bring my work out here. Yeah, that I try. Like, we're some some probably be able to see better than sewing machines. I know, right? Exactly. Oh, 
It's supposed to get up to about 80 today, though. 70, 78, 79. Uh, Saturday's supposed to be 83. Yeah, they say we got almost come close to breaking the record. I mean, we actually supposed to break the record. I think. Saturday's supposed to be 83, but check this out. Monday's supposed to be like 80 something, and Tuesday's supposed to be 68. Right. And then we're going to get like in the 50s. Yeah, by the middle of the week next week. Yeah. Everybody have big coats on. Yeah. I told you my son getting married next week, right? Next weekend? Next week on the 5th. What is that on Saturday? On Saturday. Saturday or Sunday? When is the 5th? Where are you going to do it at? Uh, We're going up to Ashley. All right. Can I have everybody's attention, please? Man, this is a beautiful day today, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is the day the Lord's made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. 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 All right. We're here for a special occasion. And so everyone that doesn't know, we have uh, many guests here with us. We have some of our employees here, and it was an option for the employees to come out. So um, they get paid to be out here. So thank God. Good <laughs> <laughs> thing. So I am Philip Murph. I'm the president of the company, um, and I am legally blind. And so what does that mean? That means that if you have a business card on you. You take your business card out, that means I can't see it without a magnifier, and I cannot read normal print without a magnifier, but I still do my job. And that means also I can't drive, all right? All right. So let me tell you about this. So in 1934, 1934, that's way before most of us were born. Oh yeah. yeah that was back in Bruce's day. <laughs> <laughs> 1934, the Lions Club had a vision. They had a vision and they had insight to our future. So in 1935, they established a company. It is for two blind World War I veterans to have employment. And so they were thinking about us almost 89 years ago. And here we are today, 89 years. Today, we have 209 employees. All right. And 100 of us are blind. federal contractor so we do make products for Department of Defense and for our visitors later on you'll have an opportunity to take a tour if you would like and see everyone at work except for Bruce yeah. see everyone at work <laughs> and see the quality of work that we make here's the good news good news is right now we're negotiating two brand new contracts for us we're working on producing our first shipment of a new product for the Army, and that's going to be around a long time. So let's get a good round of applause for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 89 years from now, I won't be here, but this company <laughs> should still be around. We have a bright future ahead of us, and today that's what we're celebrating, is insight and vision into the company. All right. So back in January of this year, I had a vision. I was walking outside out here and I saw this patio <laughs> and I was thinking, what can this patio serve for us, for the employees? And so I wanted to give back to the employees because remember, we're here eight hours a day and some of the employees 12 hours by the time they leave their house to the time they get home. So they're here a long time, all right? I wanted a place for the employees that can come out during lunch and breaks and get some fresh air and sunshine. And so I told Agatha, I said, here's my vision, what I'd like to do. Let's have a patio for the employees. And she was all excited until I said, but it has to be funded by fundraising. And then she said, oh no. <laughs> I told her one of my requirements is the company is not going to pay one penny and then she took it on as a challenge and then here we are today hey, happy yeah. Yeah. one of um, one of the things she done was come across a mural uh, opportunity from the city of Charlotte. She came across that mural and she said, Philip, would you like to have a mural on side the building? 
And one thing that resonated with me, back in September of last year, we had County Commissioner George Dunlap here, and he said something that has resonated with me to this day. He said, I've lived here a very long time and driven past this building many times and do not know what, what this building is or what y'all do. Uh -huh. That has stuck with me. And so I told Agatha, let's do the mural because that's gonna give us publicity and it's gonna be paid for by the city of Charlotte. So Agatha done the application and we got approved. And so here today is we're doing the unveiling and um, I have, we, we set up a committee. The committee was set up to help Sydney, as the artist, figure out how she can portray blindness without saying blindness. I had another requirement. I have lots of requirements, obviously. <laughs> I had another requirement. Don't put a blind cane on side of the wall. <laughs> no blind canes. And she done a great job. And I'm not going to go into details about it because she, she's going to do that. But Danielle and Nicole and Agatha and Marlon and I forgot my little book. Uh, there was five people on the committee. Of uh, me, obviously. There was five people on the committee. There were uh, four blind and also Sydney. Uh, but four blind were here. Marlon done a uh, contribution to it. Annie Burris, one of our previous employees, she made contributions to it. And so Sydney will tell you more about that later, but we want it to be interactive for blindness and make a spotlight for the community. And so here we are today unveiling that and hopefully it'll be around a long time. Here's one thing I want to leave you with. One thing I want to leave you with is a vision. So everyone that has sight, think about this. Today, whenever you're doing something, brushing your teeth, or going to the store, or putting your clothes on, or taking them off, close your eyes and try to do it without sight. Try it one time. Do it today. You have homework. So do it today and figure out how to get insight into the blind world because we have a hundred blind people here that come to work every day during covid they came to work every day and they are some of the most eager people people to come to work and looking forward to coming to work whereas some of the people in the community refuse to come to work but these people cannot even see what they're sewing and they're running a sewing machine they're putting on buckles they've never seen before and they're making high quality products for our military and so think about the insight into their world of how they do it if they can do it you can too so think about that we're All so right. good at this we do it with our eyes here's first. something i did not think about and i apologize i should have started off with thanking our visitors First off, I want to thank the board of directors for being here. We have some board members. All right. All right. We have some of our sponsors that were here. We. All right. We have um, Commissioner George Dunlap and Commissioner Gerald were supposed to be here. So let's give them a round of applause. Most importantly is we have our employees and I want to give them a big round of applause. Oh, we also have Bruce. <laughs> so I don't see him. You are working here and I always talk about blind employees. The sighted employees are just as important because every job here cannot be done by a blind person. We try to do that, that's our mission, but we have to have sight, sighted people to help us. Thanks for instance, think about this. 
Hold on one second. Think about this. Sewing the pants for the Army, Navy, Air Force, Space Force. Sewing that seam down all the way down this, that pants takes uh, a sighted person because we want to make sure we have quality work. Not blind, not the blind can't do it, but that's called a single needle and that's operated by a sighted person. So let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Also. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, I want to thank Sydney for Sydney Duarte for being here, and she done a fabulous, fantastic job. So let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> and one last thing, I want to personally um, recognize everybody here. If you're standing here, that, that that means that this company means something to you. And I appreciate it, every one of you for being here, and I appreciate your support that you give us, not only now, but each and every day. So I wanna thank you personally. Hey. What's gonna happen next is Agatha's gonna speak, then Sydney will speak, then we'll have a ribbon cutting, and then we'll I'll close up with everyone. So here's Agatha. Good morning. I'd like to start by saying thank you to everybody that's here today. We appreciate your support. And I'd also like to thank all of our sponsors that sponsored one of our tables and our events. Without you, we wouldn't have this today, so we thank you. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking the Summit Credit Union, Rebecca Day with Merrill Lynch, uh -huh. Ocean State Innovations, Texel Industries, Erie Insurance, Ronald J. Martin, Globe Fabrication, and Annie Burris. Thank you all for your support and sponsoring the table. All right. And we also have the sponsors' names on the table as recognition. We had many other supporters as well that donated different types of um, amounts to help as well at the patio. And then we also want to thank some amazing volunteers that helped build the patio and install all these amazing tables and pressure wash. So we'll start off by thanking the Sun Foundation and the Sun Construction Company. They came out and helped install the entire gate and assemble the tables. And then we'd like to thank F3 Harrisburg. They came out on a Saturday and pressure washed this entire patio concrete. It hadn't been pressure washed in 50 years, and it was a lot of work, but it looks beautiful That's now. That's probably disgusting oh, yeah. before it got pressure washed. And last but not least, we also want to thank one of our staff members, our maintenance manager, Joseph Chang. He spent countless hours helping the volunteers and doing a lot of behind the scenes work, helping install and put this beautiful patio together, and also working and helping Sydney with getting things set up. So thank you, Joseph. Well, I do. And then of course, thank you so much to Sydney Duarte and her team for helping build this beautiful mural and working with our team. We've really enjoyed working with you and it's been an honor. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I know you keep hearing my name a lot, but my mom, Ann Duarte, is my paint partner. She's usually, can you please wait? <laughs> she's a little shy. Um, but she's always with me in every meal that you can see off the city. Um, All right, Mom. Hey, Mom. We have had so much fun bringing this lot of life for our Lion Services and uh, has anybody read the history of how this came to be? We kind of put it in the event announcement when you guys are RSVP, but for those of you that don't know, uh, this started maybe a year and a half ago, the dream for all of this. Uh, Ann Lowe, who leads Artwalk CLT, she's way over there if you want to give a wave. Um, she is an incredible human. Yeah, yeah. Um, all around Charlotte and she meets the artists behind every work and she takes photos and she finds out the history of who they are, why they do what they do, the, the meaning behind each artwork. 
and um, then she puts she puts a, them on the website so that you could go on your own art walk, whether it be in Noda or Plaza Midwood or the uh, yeah. yeah, all over the place. And uh, or she's also available for hire to take you on a guided tour. And we we took a group um, of about thirty folks that were different levels of visually impaired, and uh, we did it was called. Uh, art is for everyone. It was a descriptive mural tour for low to no vision people, and um, we partnered with Metrolina Association for the Blind and the Disability Rights and Resources for the audio descriptions and route guidance. And we just did a whole route about 10 murals all throughout Plaza Midwood. And as the attendees were kind of listening and taking in the artwork, we heard a lot of feedback of how much they enjoyed the tour, um, but they wished that more artwork that represented people like them existed in the community. And Marlon and Joey and Agatha, who are part of the Lion Services team, were on that walk. And so fast forward to today, thanks to all the feedback from them, this is what the artwork's turned into to kind of represent all the different insight that they give me into the lives uh, that they live and getting to learn about all of the different employees that work here at Lion Services. It's been really cool to, everybody has so many superpowers, whether it be marathon running or golfing or um, go ball. I don't know, I've learned of so many things that I wasn't aware of. Uh, and it's really cool to, to see all the different ways that people yeah. go, even though you may not have one sense, it heightens all of your other senses and just listening to Joey's perspective, um, I have a quote from him. Um, he said, there are people with disabilities, oh no, sorry. Challenge is just a word, it's just a category. It's just a box that you check on your health form every year when you go in for your physical. It doesn't define us. And not only does it not define us, but at times it can enrich our lives because there might be certain things about our senses that are failing, but there are other senses that may be heightened to feel and experience the world more vividly, kind of like having a superpower. And everybody that I've met, everybody that's come out to visit while we've been bringing this wall to life, um, it's been so great to connect with you all. And uh, all the flowers that you see throughout the wall, different employees came out to add those, so no flowers like it. It was really fun to have, um, just have everybody's special touch added to the wall. Now we have a whole field of wildflowers and um, I'm so grateful for Agatha for having the drive and the initiative to take it from going on that walk and hearing what the artwork meant to the different employees that came on that walk that day and then finding the grant and figure it and then contacting me and then bringing it all to life and it's been really fun to work with her and the Lion Services team and to hear all the different perspectives. Um, so uh, some of the feedback was what gives people serenity or makes them feel connected and more alive was being in nature and hearing water running or the birds singing, there's a little bird in the tree over there, or the sun on their face. Um, so we wanted to incorporate a lot of nature into this um, theme. And then we have, so in researching the word sight and the word vision, everyone has vision. So the ability to think about the future with imagination and wisdom. So I think when you think, you know, you're you're out here living your life and you're helping other people see in different ways, even though you might not physically be able to see, you guys have given me a whole new perspective and a whole new vision on life. And I'm, I'm really grateful to have this opportunity to bring this to life. Um, the reason that this gentleman's shirt says capable, I keep hearing visually impaired, but impaired is not what this is. This is everyone is so beyond capable and it's really cool to, to just learn um, yeah, about the new ways of life that I, I haven't thought of before. And I really like the challenge that Philip gave um, because I have been doing that. I've been closing my eyes and just um, challenging myself because I am so proud of everyone on this patio that gets up every day and takes on life and um, inspires all of us to, yeah, to be, to be here and <laughs> live life in a whole new way. Does anyone have questions about any of the artwork that that's on the wall? No? Yeah.
So I'll start from the right over to the left. So we have a hand that is uh, reading Braille, and then we have a gentleman that is uh, holding a book. Um, it's a Braille book, and um, so the Braille has gone up to the roof to spell out insight, and as Philip said, a lot of this work is insight to give anyone that drives past insight into the lives of anyone that might be visually impaired and to give a new perspective um, yeah, uh, for community members that might be visually impaired and to look at life in a different way that they may not have thought of before. Um, then we have some nature, uh, some trees and bushes, and then a piece of paper that at the top there is a, a reading device um, that is highlighting the word vision and then the definition of vision, the ability to think about the future with imagination and wisdom is on the piece of paper. And then you move over to the right side and you have two friends that are walking in the park. They have a, a dog with them and this one was left open to the imagination. Who's assisting who is, yeah, he didn't want, as Philip said, that he didn't uh, yeah. want a cane. Um, so the man is walking the dog or oh, maybe the dog is walking him. <laughs> and uh, and uh, she is holding his arm, but maybe he's guiding her, or maybe she's guiding him. There is no, yeah, they're just hanging out, going for a stroll. Um, and then, yeah, we've made a little pond waterfall that is immersive, so you can uh, step in if you'd like to go for a swim on your break. <laughs> and I really hey, get some heaters for it. Marlon mentioned um, yeah. tandem biking, and I have seen people tandem biking all throughout my life, but I didn't think about. Um, yeah, so it was really cool. I mean, and then, yeah, the little bird in the, the tree because Marlon said he loved to hear the bird singing. Um, and then our beautiful field of wildflowers contributed by all the employees at Lion Services. So, um, yeah. Yay. <laughs> um, and soon, uh, so the mural portion is done, but we have some uh, additional elements that will be coming in over the next month. So we're going to incorporate some tactile items, um, having some inspirational messages in Braille that are going to go all along the handrail that you see here so coming soon and we're also going to have an audio box um, that will be in the shape of you know the little crosswalk boxes that you press the button and they have yeah the yeah so i'm uh, agatha and i went over to innovation barn and uh salvaged some upcycled pieces of metal that were being thrown away and we're gonna turn those into a waterproof solar powered audio box that will be out here for anyone that cannot see the artwork it's going to tell you the story uh, I know I can hold my words a little bit just now but it'll have a very detailed audio description to kind of describe the artwork for any visitors or for any employees that just want to come out and soak it all in um, oh and the trash cans yeah I thought this was really cool so I um in a, my past life, I used to be in the corporate world in sustainability and um, seeing this recycle can, I thought this was really fun. There's a piece of sandpaper on here to uh, let you know that this is a recycle uh, box and that's just one simple thing that you wouldn't, I wouldn't have noticed um, but Philip pointed it out to me and it's really cool that just having a, uh, a tactile item to let you know what to do or where to go. Um, I don't know, it's helping save the planet in lots of little ways, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, any questions for anyone? Let me give the mic back over to Philip, but I'm so glad to see you guys here today. Thank you. funded by the city of Charlotte, as Philip mentioned. It's the placemaking grant, and we want to thank the urban design team for approving the grant and funding this beautiful artwork and working with us, Kate Cavazza and her team. So thank you so much. And also for everybody that's here, if you're not following us on social media, I forgot to mention that, go follow us on Facebook, Lion Services, as well as LinkedIn. 
it's for well, online services, but Instagram as well. So you can see what we're up to. If you take photos or videos today, please tag us and also do the hashtag LSI mural or Lion Services. We can't wait to see everything. And I guess, and Duarte Designs, please. Yay. Thank you so much. All right, don't leave yet. We're going to do a ribbon cutting, so we're going to take a few pictures. Marlon is up here. He's going to be doing the ribbon cutting for us. We have Sydney, Agatha, myself, and Foster. Uh, Foster's on the board, so let's take a few pictures here. All right, Marlon, so what I want you to do is walk up here close. All right, walk up. Let's start with right there. Stop right there. Back up a little bit. Yeah, let's don't let's don't uh, cut it. Don't cut it yet. Hold it. Let's pause. Pose. Give me a pose. All right, pick a time. Smile, Marlon. All right. Money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Marlon. Let's cut it. One, two, three. Cut. <laughs> Anybody have any questions for anyone? Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Um, with, once again, without your support, this couldn't have been possible. And without your support, the employees wouldn't be paid to be sitting out here. <laughs> so um, for all the guests that would like to take a tour, we have a, a few coffee and a few sneaky snacks in the uh, conference room. And the employees, I do have one more requirement, believe it or not. It's time to go back to work. Ah! 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 Bob's got one thing to say. <laughs> hey, for those of you who are visitors here, one of our new innovations is a line of liquid hand soaps that we're producing. This is what are we going to make it? Create more jobs and do more for our mission in the future. It's not releasing till December, but if you're a guest here today and you'd like to try some out, we'll have a limited amount for sale inside with the refreshments. Thank you all for coming. What am I going to get to be on the news? Huh? Get on it for the right thing, not the wrong. Do you guys see how I'm going back inside? Yeah. Okay. I think you got, uh, I'm, She's like me, I'm blind. You, you got Joe. You got Joe. Uh, Curry something to me. Hey, when are I going to get it? When are I going to get to be on the news? Ever? I do. Oh, uh, I think they're done with it. Come on, Joe, right here. How you doing? There we go. We're going to go this way to turn around to the left. There we go. What's your name? <laughs> What's that? What's your name? Yeah, People call me Kerr's husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Kay. Huh? Oh. I think everyone calling you. Yes, sir. Is somebody calling me? Yeah. Uh, oh, I see you, Gabby. Marlon, you look great out there. Oh, yeah. Boy, I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful story you told, man. <laughs> they should have had you up there with the mic and said. They would have sounded better through you. I hear you, man. That's right. <laughs> Okay, because I sent Susan in the case. Hey, Miss Agatha. You want to go straight back to your Hey, when am I going to get to be on the news? Uh, today. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back to Agatha. Uh, back up so people can go through. <laughs> Why are you guys waiting? Yes. I'll take them back just in okay. case. Here. Grab, yes. grab one tomorrow just in case. Marlon, mm -hmm. can you hang out with us for a few minutes? Would you feel comfortable? I don't know if he's going to want to ask okay. you guys a question. Maybe y'all could be on there too. Okay. Would y'all feel comfortable? Okay. okay. I'm not sure yet. He was like, you wanted to talk to a few of us. I'm like, there's a good opportunity. Or maybe get a photo with us. Okay. Oh my goodness, good. So nice to see you. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, I can see. Hi, I'm sorry. Hi, Joy. Hey. Hi, baby. Hi, Joe. Hey, you doing? Who's there, Joaquin? Yes, I think he's going to stay. Oh, he's going to stay. Yes. Um, Marlon, what was that? I recognize you. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, my goodness. 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 Oh, my
So um, y'all are welcome to hang out here if y'all would like to go inside. I can have Philip guide y'all to the break. Yeah, absolutely. Hey. This is amazing, Agatha. Yeah, this she, came thank together you. so nicely. Thank you. Did y'all get to see your uh, name plate? We did. You're on the front yes. row. Absolutely. That's awesome. <laughs> and I'll be inside in a few minutes okay. too. Come, come walk with me. You can talk, oh, but yeah, I gotta get inside. Okay. Robert. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ruby. Can you Okay. How you doing today? Excuse me. I'm trying to get by. Can you show that gentleman? Um, there was a second part of you oh. how to get to the conference room if y'all are in that way. Yeah. I'll talk to you in a yeah, minute. Yeah, I'll be in that good news. Oh, good. Yay. Yeah. Like, in the dictionary. I am. So, Judy, that, come that, on down. Thank you, Marlon, for everything you've done. Right. 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 Just hang out here for a second. I was like, what the heck is that? And I love that. She said, everybody has a Yes, yes, exactly. Everybody does it. You know, it's not just with your eyes. Correct. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Image, you know, yep. imagine. Exactly. 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 The, the smart people come up with your ideas <laughs> in their head. They don't visually see it, but that's totally on. That's right. <laughs> All right, Marlon. All right, Paul. <coughs> Boy, that was a giant pair of scissors. Thank you. I was kind of scared to hold a pair of scissors. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, you know. Right. Watch out when they come. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I get dizzy with her. Yes!